Hey, uh, I'm going to walk you through a demo of your Flip Classroom on Firebase authentication. So there's uh, Firebase, which is the general name of uh, Google's cloud database. And it used to actually be the name of the database itself. Now that Firebase is called the real-time database, and we don't use it anymore. And the storage part is called Firestore. The whole thing now is called Firebase. Part of Firebase is Firestore. Uh, and so this is called Firebase authentication, even though we will not be using the Firebase storage, we'll be using Firestore for storage. Hopefully that made sense. There's also a storage uh, sub-element in, uh, in Firebase that we use for files, like uh, image files. So we're going to be using all of this eventually, but today I just want to talk about authentication because there's enough sort of mechanism to deal with authentication that uh, we should take a look at it separately. So let me show you the uh, very exciting uh, demo um, for your Flip Classroom. And uh, you're not going to get any starter code from me, so that's exciting. You're going to get a chance to uh, really do things yourself. So what you are going to be... Um, uh, you're going to use a library that is going to help you with a sign-in and it's going to prompt you for an email and we are going to say fake at example.com and I'm, I'm specifying that specific email uh, next and then uh, welcome back oh I know you and the password one two three four five six uh, I never use that as a real password sign in and oh my gosh very exciting uh, uh, set the display name, um, uh, Wilma, user, Wilma, it's a display name. I don't know why this font is so small, but maybe it doesn't seem small to you. It seems small to me. This is, this is the email. So this is just displaying some, some stuff about the user. So pretty, pretty lightweight, but what you can see is, uh, with this, we have a notion of uh, a user signed in uh, over the network. And that's going to be really useful for games and for uh, a lot of projects because you, know, you want to know who the user is. And so um, having Firebase deal with the authentication is, is, is quite convenient. So in order to get this done, we need to take a, a quick look at Firebase. And so we need to go to console. Uh, console.firebase.google.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you quickly sort of what this looks like once it's already been set up, and then I'll, I'll sort of see whether, whether we go through uh, some of the details or, or not. Um, but um, so, you know, sorry, when you, you know, when you go to uh, the console, yours is going to look a lot more blank. You have to sign up uh, with Google, but you know you probably already have some sort of uh, Google identity and, and account, and none of this costs any money. Um, but you know we have Firebase projects, we have uh, you know Firestore projects. Some of these are stuff we're going to see eventually. But here uh, we're looking at Firebase Auth. And over here, under our, our Firebase options, we have different options. We have authentication, which is the thing we're looking at for this flip classroom. Uh, we have uh, database, and under database, you're going to see options for the real-time database and for Cloud Firestore. So at this point, Cloud Firestore is what it's uh, pushing uh, because that's, uh, I think, I don't know, I don't think the real-time database is deprecated yet, but maybe it is. Um, storage uh, also we'll, we'll eventually deal with this is where you can you can put files you know okay but for right now we're looking at authentication and authentication here um, you have an interface to be able to add users and I've added uh, you know this user and you know you're gonna come in here and you know uh, yeah Put whatever you want, add your user, okay? Uh, let's get rid of this guy because otherwise I'm going to delete again. Oh my gosh. I know. It's, it's sorry, sir. But, um, okay, so you have to um, add the user here. There are sign in methods for this uh, project, and you need to enable an email password. Um, so, you know. 
um, it's enabled. We don't need a uh, passwordless sign-in, so that's fine. And we don't need any of this other stuff. For your project, if you want to use, you know, phone number or your Google credentials or the Play Store, you know, the, the Game Center, that, that's fine. Um, okay, authorized domains don't really matter. Okay. Okay, templates. Uh, Templates we don't have to care about right now. These are things for you know resetting your password and stuff. We can we can leave that as is. Um, oh, users, no, yeah, users are okay. Okay, um, one other thing that is important in, in setting this up, uh, if we go back here and we take a look at. Uh, yeah. No. Oh. Wait. Wait. Is this it? Is this it? No. That's not right. That's app. Um. Oh gosh, it sort of sort of escapes me right now. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, so um, it, it'll show up here in a little bit, but uh, just leave this stuff sort of normal as it is. And then if you go over here to Gradle and you go under your um, project to tasks to Android, there's this thing called signing report. And if you double click on it, it should run it down here. And one of the things you're gonna find down here is this SHA-1 hash of your project. And when you sign up with Google and you want to register a project, it asks for that project SHA-1 hash. And you're going to be like, SHA-1 hash, what the heck are you talking about? Uh, and that comes from here. Once you run this, then, then it, it adds this in here. So, um, you know, this will run the app and this, you know, that's building the app and this will do the signing report. And if you run this, it runs the signing report which generates the SHA-1 hash. Um, I, you can look up what SHA-1 hash means. Basically, it's a, a hash function is a cryptographic function that scrambles the bits of its input such that it's very unlikely that two different files have the same hash value. It's not impossible because the hash value is a fixed size and the, the universe of all possible bit strings is not fixed size, so they, there will be collisions but in general, it's very difficult to find those collisions. That said, SHA-1 has actually been, uh, has been compromised. So you really should be using SHA-2, which is short for SHA-256. But I don't think Google has that uh, enabled yet. So we're gonna need the SHA-1 hash, so this is where we find it. The other thing we're gonna need uh, for Google is they wanna know what our um, app name is. And where do we find that? We find that do, do, do package name up here. So it's in the um, it's in the uh, manifest file. Okay, so th those are the that, that's the information you need, um, and hopefully that that will be enough to complete the flip classroom. I will now do an experiment to see if um, I can do this for a new project. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at tools and Firebase. So um, this is a little bit of an experiment because I've done this uh, several times through several versions of Android Studio, and I've never had it work completely if you don't leave Android Studio. I've always had to go to the console and type stuff in, but I'm gonna do a little experiment here because maybe they've worked things out. So if you go to you know Tools and Firebase, you get this uh, pop-up menu, which shows you you know, some really interesting things. Oh yeah, this is the real-time database, which is what Firebase was. This is uh, storage. Um, or do they call Firestore the real-time database now? Okay, well, uh, should, 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 should have looked that up. Oh no, here's Firestore, yeah. Yeah, so it's Firestore is, is, Firestore is what we should be using. Well, don't use real-time database, but we want authentication. So. Uh, hey, let's do let's do 
you know, it was email and, and something, email and password authentication, that sounds good. So connect your app to Firebase. Oh, look at that. Um, it actually did something kind of reasonable. Um, and it says, hey, uh, Android Studio wants to access your Google account. Sure, you can do everything. Okay, assigned into Android Studio. Let's make this a little bit more reasonable size. Okay. All right, create a new Firebase project. Yes, I'm signed in as Emma Witchell. Ah, good. Oh, here are some of my existing uh, accounts. So, so far, so good. This isn't bad. Let's connect to Firebase. Connecting. Do, 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 do. says starting project creation. And you know, while we're doing this, we can sort of peek ahead. Uh, this is gonna say add uh, Firebase authentication to your app. I mean, if that, if that works, it makes Flip Classroom a little, a little on the easy side, but what the heck, let's, let's, let's throw you a softball every now and again. Uh, okay, Firebase project created and connected locally. Wow, that's impressive. That is impressive. Um, and this gives you some uh, background on how to what to add to your code, um, you know, to sign in new users. And so you should basically look at that and do a bunch of copy and paste. So that is impressive. Let's see if that seemed to work. Goodbye assistant. I do wanna see, did it put some stuff in Gradle? Boy, it sure did, did not. No, no, no. No, it did not. So now um, that, okay, no, so yeah, it's not gonna change my, my app, but let's go to, let's go to my console and let's see if our new project is there. And if so, how is it set up? It's called test auth, right? Signed in as yeah, much on gmail.com. <sighs> Test off. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I need to do, I need to uh, set things up. Uh, yes, this is basically like uh, do you want to share all your data with Google? Uh, check here for yes. You can't use us for no. So that's our deal with the devil. So very good there. And uh, we want to go to authentication. Okay, yeah, and so this is, you know, so you, you need to sort of um, uh, set things up, add, add a user, but this is looking pretty good in terms of, you know, we need to enable this, yeah. Um, but this is looking pretty good in terms of the actual hookup. Let me just check one quick thing. Um, oh my gosh. Um, one of the magic bits here is that there is a JSON file that gets um, that gets downloaded. Uh, to connect you. Yeah. So cat app Google services.json. So that's what the assistant did. Um, I might have uh, a video, oops. I might have a video uh, that sort of goes over this if the, if the assistant um, doesn't do this properly. Because if it doesn't do this properly, you need to download this file uh, by hand. And this file, if you take a look at it, it just has a bunch of URLs. It says like what your project number is. It has, um, it has the hash of your project in there. It has the, the package name. So we didn't have to add any of this stuff by hand. Um, the assistant did everything for us. So we'll go with that for now. Hopefully the assistant will be able to do this for you. Um, but there might be a supplementary video on how to do this if the assistant uh, uh, messes up. Thanks.